about your information about the American business world to the Hungarian audience, the Hungarian, the member of the Hungarian, the Budapest Chamber of Commerce and the American Hungarian Chamber of Commerce. My question is, what is your advice for a Hungarian entrepreneur who would like to go to the United States? Please summarize your speech because you spoke about me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I would like to ask your advices. Yeah. So my advice is actually to contact us at the U.S. Embassy and get as much information as the, the entrepreneur can uh, about opening a business in the United States. Uh, the Select USA program helps U.S. Com or helps Hungarian companies enter the U.S. market uh, for their their business uh, expansion, and all of the information is free. So it's it's there for assistance, nothing but assistance. Is it possible a Hungarian company goes to America, goes to the United States in the business field? Is it possible to the Hungarian entrepreneurs? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the U.S. is open for anyone's business. And uh, while we cannot assist Hungarian companies sell to the U.S. market, we do welcome them to open their office or uh, factory or warehouse in the United States. What do you think a uh, chamber of commerce could help in the business for an American entrepreneur to come to Hungary or a Hungarian goes to America? Well, I think the, the chambers of commerce are, are well positioned to assist Hungarian companies going to the United States because it provides a friendly face, uh, a friendly language, an understanding of the Hungarian culture and can help kind of translate that into the U.S. market uh, for the Hungarian companies. Now, for the American companies coming to the Hungarian market, um, you know, the uh, chambers of commerce can do the same thing uh, because you have a, a business footprint in the United States already and you can really just provide, you know, local market insight that would take the company years to gain otherwise. What is the most important fact what do, could tell to the Hungarian entrepreneurs? Please do that and that if you would like to go to the to the America. <laughs> okay, so there's there's two things that I always suggest any uh, entrepreneur uh, tend to right away when they're going to the U.S. market. Number one, if you're going to open your business in the United States, you want to have a good lawyer because the good lawyer will help you navigate the, the legal challenges that you may experience. You also wanna have a good tax accountant and the tax structure in the United States, it's confusing at best. It's confusing to me. I pay an accountant to do my taxes every year because it's confusing. And uh, so any entrepreneur going to the United States should uh, have a qualified attorney and a qualified tax accountant uh, before they invest in the United States. Thank you. Martin? I, I have a different focus question. So first, <laughs> first of all, we would like to congratulate and welcome you here at your station in Budapest. Thank you. And I hope that um, that uh, your your mission will will reach your goal, what you postpone, and definitely that will be one question <laughs> after the first question. That um, um, the H American Hungarian Chamber is organizing this type of event, this American Hungarian um, business forums. So, so what do you think about um, about this forum today? What you experienced? Did it meet your expectations? And do you think that do we need to, to strengthen more the economic relations with this type of events? Well, I think this, yes, definitely this event uh, met and exceeded my expectations. If there's ever an opportunity to strengthen business cooperation between two countries, that's always the, the first thing that, I, uh, that comes to my mind. And the reason for that is no matter what happens, uh, politically, if there's a business connection and business ties, communication will still go on. And um, that's the most important thing. Uh, yeah. and, and do you, do you agree that, that uh, what, what many of us try to highlight, that the, the securities, the guarantees, the endorsements, it's, it's, it's much, more, much more important than just counting the, the small profit, the, the one-time chance, 
in this type of business field? Yeah, I think um, you know the most successful businesses uh, focus on long-term growth as opposed to short-term profits. Uh, any kind of business that's gonna, you know, just look to make a quick, uh, as we would say, to make a quick buck, uh, is not gonna be around for a long time. Uh, you know, the, it's the long-term growth and the relationships, the the cooperation, the, the building on, you know, your your reputation. Without a reputation in the United States, without a good reputation in the United States, many businesses will fail. Uh, and my last question, mm -hmm. that, um, that certainly you have a vision <laughs> for, for your next um, um, uh, period here in, in, in Budapest, in Hungary. And um, what, what advice can you tell us as a, to, to the Chamber and to the Hungarian entrepreneurs that how can we help your work here in Hungary? Well, you know, I, my vision is to keep building on the success that we have. And so, um, you know, there is success. You know, the, the, the bilateral trade and investment between the two countries uh, has increased, you know, year on year since 2011 and probably before that. And um, keep doing what you're doing. And we'll keep doing what we're doing because it's, it's working. So that would be my, my vision. Thank you very much for coming here today and thank you for your very nice presentation. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much.